creationism, science, I believe the issue is deeper than that. As the sole surviving member of Arthur Philip Dent's family, allow me to suggest, if you will, that since much of volcanism today is driven by immense deposits of deep radionuclides, and that the more you have of these items in close proximity, the more intense any system of radioactive decay becomes. The Earth must have been composed in the main of such materials when new. That is, if it's 4.5 billion years old, it is, as is commonly purported by learned folks everywhere. Counting back, not with constant rates of decay, such as are used by scientists when calculating the age of rock, but with massively, radically more intense decay, as seems likely given current nuclear models, the farther back one travels, the more intense surface radiation must have been. Indeed, back in the Mesozoic, surface counts would have been far too high for any life, as we know it, to exist. Certainly DNA would have been too fragile to allow discrete specification, which would, I believe, have resulted in a mutable, Cambrian, not stable, modern diversion of life into randomly mutated individuals, rather than closely similar and closely allied species. Thanks for taking time to read this, and please, always bring a towel with you when exploring the past.